Well guys, it's August the 8th. Welcome back to the channel. It's a pretty damp, miserable sort of day today. Uh, fairly warm though. Anyway, so there's nothing really to be done outside. It's too wet, so it's an inside job today. So let's crack on. So this morning, the plan is to sort through this elephant garlic. Went down to the micro orchard yesterday and brought it up in these bin bags. Uh, <clears throat> so we're gonna, I'll get some out and we'll have a look and uh, that's the job, we're gonna sort all this out. It's a nice job to do uh, inside, you know, on a wet day. So first of all, these are some of the corms, the little corms that um, we picked off. There's loads more yet in, in, in the uh, bin bags. But we pulled these off and um, I've just washed them actually and then laid them out, <clears throat> excuse me, in the sun to dry, but these will you know, if you if you plant these, you've got to soak them and snip that little point a bit off with nail clippers. Soak them for 24 hours, then plant them. They should germinate. Then you grow them on for a season, they become like a little round, like an onion. And if you carry on planting them, you know, you'll end up getting a full elephant garlic after two to three years. So I'm just going to pop them to one side. Start with a couple here. So what I do sick uh, leave about six inch of stem or thereabouts and this top bit all that's going to go all this is going to go in the compost so you don't want to just waste that at all because it's good brown sort of material so that can go in the compost and then the way I do it um, let's just get uh, you know, one of these kind of utility knives, just make a cut in there and that allows you to get an opening if you will in fact I mean you could just run it all the way up if you like so and then that allows you then to peel off those outer layers Bit like sort of dressing an onion really. He's a member of the Allium family after all. So just go around taking those outside that outside layer off. So sort of something you end up sort of like that. And then just snip that bottom root bit off. Careful not to sort of do too much damage to that plate at the bottom. So something like that. You can see I haven't, I haven't gone too, you know, I, I've kept it a couple of mil below if you like. And then that's pretty much, and I can feel, you can see, hopefully you can see that they've, they've differentiated, you can feel the cloves in there. So I, keep, I try to keep mine like this, and then obviously, you know, you can sort of tie them onto a, a, a wire and hang them up in a warm, dry place, out of direct sunlight. You don't want them to be in direct sunlight. So I'll just crack on and, you know, do this one bag and come back and show you kind of where we're up to. When I get one like that, this obviously it started to split the outside skin before it was lifted as I say I think I only just got to them in time and there's a little bit of so there's a little bit of white rot there or something so I'm going to treat those separately and you know, I'm obviously going to pull all the cloves off and clean them up the best I can and keep those keep those uh, separate well guys, as you can see, it's a bit of a mixed sort of bag really. Uh, these were the ones, the cleanest ones. And there's one or two, like that one for example, that you can see some of the skin didn't uh, survive intact as it were, but they're, they're absolutely fine. And then we've got the rounds. So one or two like maybe that one for example I just need to clean it up a bit more like I've done with these and then uh, they will be replanted in sort of first week November usually that's when I plant mine uh, 
at the back these two punnets here they're all sort of good sound you know I mean there's a little bit of soil on them but essentially they're absolutely sound really you know pretty good good sized cloves I'm gonna go through and maybe pick out these smaller ones for replanting but they're all there as I say they're all sort of sound really good and then um, these here are kind of they they need <laughs> attending to if that's the right word so they just let me put this tripod down a minute they need sort of um, a bit of time see there's a little bit of probably white rot but if you you see if you peel that skin off they will actually careful not to uh, but they'll clean up if I just do this now yeah there's a little bit left on there probably just wipe that off there you go so they, they will clean up and perfectly I'm not sure that I would store them just in case you know I wouldn't want them to uh, pass on any any risk of white rot onto the good stuff so again I would keep those separate but they're definitely edible they're definitely usable so that's what's going to happen to those and then there's just a few more of the um, the calms this is this is the first slot so you see there's a lot you know there's I don't know there's well over a hundred anyway um, so again I'm just going to sort of clean those and then on a, on a better day than today I'll put them on a piece of newspaper and let them dry out and then uh, I'll see what to do with those maybe I can store they'll store for ages but as I say if you want to if you want to um, try planting them then the pointy end you snip that off with nail clippers and you should see the the bare sort of seed underneath if you will look underneath the coating then pop them in water soak them for 24 hours then plant them with the basil plate downwards and hopefully they should germinate so if you plant that the idea is that after a year you'll get around like that I've done this before so I'll put a video towards the end it depends you may on the growing season the temperature lots of factors depends on how big a round you get and then once you plant that round back um, you may or may not then get a full size like this or it may produce a huge round which again if you plant for a third time you definitely will get one that's differentiated so it, it can be a fairly lengthy process but at the end of the day you know you're going to keep your, your stock going alright guys so that's that's how I do my elephant galaxy it's, I think the wet weather has not has definitely not helped you know causing this sort of uh, bit of white rot and stuff but um, I think they can be redeemed mostly anyway so I've, I've got a little bit more work to do just going through them so thanks very much indeed for watching thanks for your all your support and your kind words of support in these recent weeks and um, I'll catch you soon bye for now